how to dock or undock the Photoshop's options. Now that's this bar along the top. So at the moment, I've just obviously got tool. I've selected the shape. And you can see then you've got the option there for shape, etc. fill. But maybe you want to remove that from that position. Well, what you can do, well, actually, I'll just quickly show first, window and down the bottom, you've got options. So you've got application frame and you've got options. Now, if I turn that off, it's gone. That's it. However, window and options, obviously, it's useful to have, I think. But you might want to sort of declutter your screen a little bit. However, you can also undock it. So just simply go over to the far side there and just drag. Just There's a little bar. You can just see it. Probably better there. You can just see a little bar at the end there. Just simply drag, and now you can position it there. However, you can't resize it. It'd be really nice if there's a way to resize the, the thing. I mean, you can move it around, of course. And you move it around simply by doing that, just dragging on that. Now, if you try and do like I was just trying to do, it doesn't work. Now, personally, I think it should be draggable at any position. Obviously, unless you go over something where it suddenly displays something that's going to be difficult. But if you're here, you should be able to drag it. However, it works from this end. So now, if you want to bring it back into along the top, simply just drag up there just above that untitled bit the name of the file and in between the maximize, close, etc. And then just go there and drop it. And then you've got it back along, which I think is the default position for the options. But it would be nice, of course, if you could resize it. But sadly, that doesn't seem to be available. So again, simply just drag, drag there and just drag it back. Again, see, as soon as you see that little blue, blue line all the way there and then release, then you've got it back in that position. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always any new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, obviously Creative Cloud, Painter, PaintShop Pro, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. What did you like? What didn't you like? And also, any questions, any more questions about these sort of features? So, also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.